So you can see here I've got my list of URLs in a field called URL. I then need to create a new field called PDF with type attachment. Then create a new grid view called needs PDF. And add the following filters. You want URL to be not empty and PDF to be empty. And as we create the PDF files, our URLs are going to move out of this view. So the next thing to do is to go to the Airtable app marketplace and install an app called Data Fetcher. And once you've done that, sign up for a free Data Fetcher account or sign into your existing account. Then click on Create Your First Request and select Microlink for the application. For the endpoint, select Create PDFs from URLs. Then give your request a name like Fetch PDFs. Then click on save and continue in the bottom right corner. Now we want to add our URLs in this URL field here. So we want to use each value from the table. So to do that, click on the add icon on the right hand side. Then select the URL field. And for the run for every record in view, make sure needs PDF is selected and click confirm. Then click on save and run in the bottom right. You can toggle this so you don't always see this warning and click continue. We'll then see the response field mapping where we can map the fields that come back from Microlink to our fields in our table. So click filter all to get rid of all the fields and then click PDF to keep this one. And make sure it's mapped to the existing PDF field that we just created. Then click on save and run and Data Fetcher is now going to run the request for every record in that needs PDF view and create the PDF as attachment files. And you can see the records are moving out of that filtered view. And in our main view, we're getting PDF files. The next thing we can do is schedule this to run automatically. So if you open up Data Fetcher and go to Schedule, you can set a schedule that you want this to run on, click Save, and then it will run for any records in the needs PDF view on the schedule that you set. The final thing to say is that Microlink is a free service, but there are some limits on that. So if you hit those free limits, you might need to upgrade to a paid Microlink account, which starts at 12 euros a month, and you'll get an API key, which you can enter here by changing the authorization type to header and setting the API key here.